Hi there, welcome back. Sometimes I got a question from you guys. Scott, why don't you do a custom build? To be honest, my expertise lie in the business class segment. What I'm really good at it is grabbing a brand new machine, put it on your desk and say, good luck, see you in eight to 10 years. And I walk away and the day is done. Not, not to be joking, I probably do maybe five to 15 of these custom build desktops a year. So I'm not really a super pro. I'm somewhat familiar, so I have a business customer who said, I don't like huge cases, I don't like RGB lights, can you build me a custom computer? I said like, yeah, he said I would like to have a 5070Ti and a Ryzen 7 9800X3D CPU. I think that's gonna be working out uh, for me pretty well. And he was right, I absolutely love this configuration. But what happened is when we requested Micro Center to get all the parts what we listed on our checklist, they came back and they said like, hey, the case what you picked is, is out of stock. What can we do? I said like, just give us the next size up, which is available with the same wood lines or panels in the front. And then when everything opened, I realized like this thing is ginormous. But I took a picture. I said like, hey, dude, I know you wanted to have something just a slightly larger than this and this is what showed up and he said like you know what i need to compensate somewhere so just stick with this case i absolutely actually love it and i love it too as a technician it was very easy to work with there's nothing but space and it has a lot of fan in it so let me show you what we have here let me take the side panel off good lord so first of all this case, I think, had an option to have a mesh or a glass panel. I went with a mesh because it will still help with the airflow. And what we have here is we have three huge fan in the front sucking the cold air into the case. We have the two radiator fans in here. They also bring in cold air. This fan is also bringing the cold air and blowing on the graphics card. And we have a power supply, which is getting the fresh air in here from behind and pushing the warm air down outside of the case. This thing works super, super nicely. I cannot be more happy. Let's see some power consumption when the PC is idling. As you can see, the PC is consuming 1.4 watts right now, ready to go. When I hit the power button, I want you to take a look at uh, the power usage. One twenty, one thirty, one fifty, one twenty, one sixty, one seventy, and now we're back to around one hundred. Even if this PC is just idling, it still will pull somewhere between eighty to one hundred and twenty watts. Best thing to find out our maximum power usage or consumption is for a graphics card is running Furmark. So let's do that. So our power consumption is going to jump up to 400 watt and we can see how much is actually that the graphics card is consuming right now. So power is about 300 watt. The PC is still so silent. My sound meter is keep turning itself off as long as I'm not speaking. So the firmware is completed. Graphics card chip is about 68 Celsius with 100% utilization. Uh, the RAM temperature is 58, and this case is amazing. This PC is still so quiet, my sound meter is still shutting itself off constantly. So let's see what happens when we're maxing out our CPU without the graphics card. For that, we're gonna do the IDEA 64 Extreme, it's a free software you can get, and we're just gonna do a bench test. Uh, I'm gonna check everything out. What we don't need, we're only stressing the CPU, and that's gonna hit it. And let's see what's the power consumption going to be. You see different cores in here, regardless of the temperature, but I want you to pay attention to our power usage. If you're maxing out our CPU to 100% utilization, we still only draw 200 watt. Now, if we put that hypothetical 300 watt maximum from the graphics card, we still just a hair under 500 watt. But when you're gaming and when you're mimicking games with different benchmarks, 
I don't see this number going over 350, 380 watt. So if you're thinking about what size power supply you're going to need for these main components, the 750 or anything above that is plenty. Let's get through the performance. I'm only using free benchmarks and test tools, what you can do at home so you can compare Apple to Apple. case is closed this pc is ready to be delivered if you have any question please let me know in the comment section otherwise i'll see you in the next video scouts out